This is a second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Thursday, May 28th. The news heated up today as Larry Kudlow appeared on CNBC with Kelly Evans and teased a second stimulus package in, in the middle of the day. Boy, did you catch it? Well, if you didn't, we have the update. Thanks for always tuning in. Like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording and we'll be answering all great 28 stimulus check questions you dropped yesterday. Um, but first, the surprising news. If you didn't catch it earlier today, National Economic Council advisor Larry Kudlow, who also was a former CNBC uh, analyst, appeared on CNBC Today with Kelly Evans, one of my personal favorites. And he basically teased that he thought a second stimulus package is going to happen. This is how Kudlow put it. He thought that there really has to be four factors at place before a stimulus package is approved. One, he has to see workers back at work. Two, he has to see testing in place. Three, he has to see businesses open. And four, he has to see the virus uh, cases per state dropping. And he says current data is early. He admits it's early, but he says it's promising news. He wants to see that businesses are open, employees are returning, and the virus is dropping. And when all those factors are in place, he sees a second stimulus check and stimulus package plan working and robust economic de uh, development in third quarter to fourth quarter this year. So what did the National Economic du Council director tell Kelly Evans? Kudlow says we see the economy gradually in phases reopen in May and June. There are transition months. We actually seen some glimmers of hope amidst all the hardship and break. Um, this is as unemployment numbers rise and as claimless concerns continue and worries that people may not return to work. He says that he hopes, and he, he's, he certainly qualifies it with great um, caution, that he thinks that the layoffs may have been temporary. He admits that the data is early, but he thinks that the current data suggests that the unemployment rates may be temporary and that the employees will be returning back to work. If that is true, or if that's nearly true, then we may see folks coming back to work faster than we may have thought, let's say a month or six weeks ago. He says the healthy part of the economy has to go uh, accordingly, has to be done safely. He does not want workers returning to an unsafe work environment. Um, this is interesting because Codlow's has been really the, the voice in the ear of the president and Steve Mnuchin, who ultimately aren't writing the policy of the Congress. They aren't deciding how to deal with the HEROES Act, which arrived in Congress now probably two weeks by the time of this recording, but they certainly are pushing the envelope as to where the HEROES Act, CARES Act 2.0, whatever you call it, goes. If you're just tuning into the channel on this today, this is what's before Congress. The HEROES Act from the House, a Democratic bill that landed in a Republican Senate. The Republican Senate landed by Mitch McConnell. Uh, uh, headed by Mitch McConnell, said, no way, no hell. They don't like the provisions of the, of the HEROES Act. The question is, <laughs> really, where, what do they not like? And they haven't been very clear. The, the thing that this channel has been pushing is that it seems like the extension of PUA unemployment benefits of $600 per week from the federal government into January 2021 has been the issue that they don't like. And I'll tell you why. There's new data suggesting that 80% of Americans made more money on that plan than they made in their daily workforce. And there's worries that 75% of those employees will never return back to work because they think that that pays them a higher check than their normal employment will be. How is that an issue? Watch our PUA video tonight, which I'm going to link above. It really ticks off what could happen with PUA benefits. Um, the stimulus check seems to be a, a passing point. I do believe, and I continue to believe, that the, you will get a second stimulus check. I think it will be about $1,200. I don't think it's going to be $2,000. It's been six months. The question is when you receive it and how fast. Um, other parts of the care of the heroes bill, I think, are going to die. I don't think this loan forgiveness for student debt is going to pass. I don't think the extension of a student debt loan debt where you don't pay the principal or, or the interest until 2021 is going to pass. It's currently expiring in July. And I don't think this uh, hazard pay of $13 per hour is going to pass. Now, I do think that what's going to pass are other versions of the stimulus package. And these were addressed by... Um, these were addressed by Mr. Portman today on CNBC. If you didn't see those comments, 
do, click on the on the PUA video. They are inspiring. He basically wants to give stimulus in another form, and I don't mean this ridiculous junk of tax deductions or tax write-off. He actually wants to put money in your pocket, but he wants to put money in your pocket on the presumption that you are getting back to work. And this is an interesting move for the Republicans. The Republicans initially said they want to create a welfare state. It's a nice expression, but no one knows what it really means. Portman is basically tipping the iceberg and saying, hey, I don't want people staying at home and not going back to work because they, they like the check that they're getting, which is a great argument. But he doesn't want to push you back to work and understand that you're working less hours or working in a reduced environment and making less money. So he still wants to give you money, which is, you know, this is coming from a Republican. It's not coming from a Democrat. So it's a great, it's a great change of face. Um, not change of face, but a change of the playbook. So click that link on the PUA video, which I'll also link, uh, also drop in the links, which gives you a little bit more of what Portman is suggesting. If, if true, it would give you money for months to come uh, in a way that even a second stimulus check, which is twelve hundred dollars, um, it, it doesn't do doesn't do it for you. Let's turn to some incredible comments from yesterday's video. Kimberly Valentino, half of us will be dead by then. <laughs> Not by the virus, but by the stress of dealing with the stupid flip-off from upside down to give us $1,200 for last month's bills. Bills. I mean, it's a great point. Kimberly is basically saying what this channel has been saying all along, that she was supposed to get that $1,200 second stimulus check in the month of April for the month of March, uh, if not in the month of May for the month of April. Um, I mean, why are we getting checks in June and July? It's just it's absurd. John Sherloff, I personally think that $2,000 Corona stimulus check one time now and do it $2,000 one time in July, August, and September, October, take it from there. So he wants multiple stimulus checks for $2,000 every month. I mean, this was an issue of contention among viewers of this channel. What do you think? Drop in the comments below. How many checks? How many months? I want to know. No. Um, and I'll feature comments tomorrow. Troy Milliner, damn, all the way to June. I got to be patient. We should receive it. I mean, yeah, this is the issue. I mean, we're last week of April, May practically now, and we don't have a second stimulus check even approved. So when are we going to get? July? August? I mean, the viewers, what do you as the viewers of the channel think? When should these stimulus checks start coming and how fast and how many months? I think it's absurd. The check should have come in May. Now we may not even see it in June. It's just ridiculous. Wuhan, how can you get stimulus? How can you stimulate someone that's losing everything? LA late. <laughs> he loves my comment from yesterday. Uh, for instance, they're slowly torturing small business owners by giving them hope for petty loans. Well said. Priests, presence Caesar, I applied for a non-filter uh, on May 10th, and I just received $1,200 on May 25th. Am I going to get a second one on July, June and July? Yes. I, you know, by July, certainly, I hope. John Sherloff, again, do you think the $1,200 stimulus check is going to happen? I do think it's going to happen. What should people in Social Security disability be able to get in the second stimulus check, the same as everyone else? David Davis, second stimulus package, and my family of all three, and we all are on SSI. I've not even gotten our first stimulus check, and it's been since April. That's not right. Um, you should be receiving your debit card right away for you and any um, adults in your household. Keep us updated, David. Barbara, I love listening. You're a great person for making sure everyone is getting everything. I need it. They can't, I can't thank you enough for your time and help. You're awesome. Well, thank you, Barbara. And I love your comments, Barbara. Stay with us for more. Carmelia LaRue. I got $1,000 grant still no offer. I'm calling tomorrow. She's talking about EIDL. I applied for PPP. I got, and through Cabbage got approved. I spent six hours, got nowhere, and I've done... I've done all they ask. Thank you for your hard work. Well, thank you, Carmela. We hate PPP. Pat Tyson. I look forward to your nightly reports. I greatly appreciate it. Congress needs to give a second series of checks if they truly want stimulus. I mean, yes. And don't play this game of holding on our stimulus checks to the fall elections. No one is going to buy that. That's going to backfire in your face if anyone wants to play that game. No one is going to wait and see, here's a stimulus check. Vote for me eh, next week. No. Don't play that game, members of Congress. We will fall for that. Sylvia Marsh. I'm still getting paid. I'm still getting pay work through the virus. 13 hours on top of that, that's not going to pass. It's going to stop. Barbara, I'm first. <laughs> Michael Papa. Hey, Michael Papa. I just want to thank you for all the time a small business owner said to lose their business. I want to say that every time a small business owner loses their business, it's like a fraction of the legs of the America. Very well said, Michael. I just want to wish people in power would get this concept. Rant over it. Very well said. Biz, uh, 
the members of Congress seem to not for, seem to forget that this country is built up on small business, and small business is small business. And I don't mean Fortune 500 companies that are on the New York Stock Exchange; those are not small businesses. I don't mean companies that are 10,000 employees that make 55 billion dollars a year. That's not small businesses. Small businesses defined by the SBA are 500 employees or less. That is the core of this country. Until members of Congress like like um, the, the the honorable senator from Kentucky understand that we won't get anywhere. Um, Tony Kitchen, good morning, sir. I always look forward to. I can always see a twelve hundred dollar more stimulus check, but it needs to be honest. We're willing to help me. People are becoming greedy. Maxwell Studio, we shouldn't even call it stimulus. It's a relief. It's we're sinking fast. Well said. I mean, stimulus checks have to come when they're st when it stimulates people. Not stimulates people, stimulates the economy. When it stimulates the economy, I mean, don't give checks when people are are, are on their last breath. Uh, you know, stimulate spending, stimulate consumer confidence, stimulate keeping businesses alive, stimulate um, business activity. Don't give things to people when they're on the last breath. Uh, Max Manuel Lombardo. She is in Canada, Europe, and Australia. I'm noticing their plans include monthly payments, which is actually not stimulating the economy, but that the company shows consumer consumption actual demand. Finally, as I said before, if Congress makes amendments to the mistakes of the original CARES Act, they could literally pay six months of $1,200 stimulus specs to America and still be under over $1 trillion. I'm not sure how smart it would be, but they could explain why the SMART Act was not considered. LOL. I love you. Enjoy your shows. I love a commentary on your shows to see the response. Well, thank you. And cheap thrift. I love your videos. Well, thank you. I mean, really, what do you think? I mean, my, my position has been the following. Money is money. And you can call it stimulus check. You can call it PUA. You can call it unemployment benefits. You can call it the Portman plan. I mean, money is money. And if and when it comes to the, I mean, let's be honest here. Certain congressmen want their names on bills. They just want it. And they want the bill to be called named after them. I can, I can get it. I get it. They want that, that, that cachet. Uh, ultimately, what you care about is money in your pockets. And so it really doesn't matter if it's called a stimulus check or a PUA extension of benefits or this or that. The point is that you get the money and you get the money fast and you get the enough money. And so $1,200 is not going to cut it. It really is not going to cut it. If all we're talking about on the HEROES Act or any bill or whatever we call the bill, $1,200 for the misery you have been through from uh, the last stimulus check of April till July, that ain't going to cut it. $12 million is not going to cut it. And we're not going to give you another stimulus check when the second wave comes in, you know, in, in September, October. We're, we're, we're not going to be teed up. We're not ready for it. It ain't going to cut it. No one believes it's going to cut it. Now, it doesn't have to be $1,200. It could be less, as Portman suggests, but it can be lots of checks of lesser amounts that come on a regular basis. I mean, these things are what stimulate consumer confidence, regular checks. One check, here you go. That's it. Mm -mm, that ain't going to work. What do you think? Drop your comments below, and we love the feature in the tomorrow's uh, update. As always, stay in LA for more.